the lovely process of transferring files, waiting ever so patiently so that you can edit it. You can see the reflection of my sticker. But yeah, just waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. This is what I'm filming for you guys. It probably won't be on today's video, but this is the setup. This will be um, edited two styles. I'll be editing it in real time for my patrons and probably sped up like 32 times for um, YouTube. But this is how I got it set up. That's my phone. I'm just waiting for this part of it to dry because I want it to dry exactly the way it is so I'm just going to let it dry organically. Time to make some lunch. I'm going to put on something to drown out the nagging and the fussing I hear upstairs because I might end up vain if I don't. And I think that they can handle themselves. I'm going to make some linguine with some sun-dried tomatoes and spinach and green onions and tofu. And spices that's what I'm having today and yes I'm just getting up I'm tired fashion show wore me out and then I played Sims and yeah I didn't do what I was supposed to do but I played Sims and it was fun <laughs> so I'm draining my tongue for you I'm some of this water I get in a lot of water You go through so many paper towels when you do this. But what can you do? Get a tofu press. That would be one idea. It's an excellent idea, actually. I think I might go on Amazon and do that. Let's see if they got one. In the meantime. It's just water. We can let them hang and dry and repurpose them if we want. This just kind of keeps it from crumbling. It's so cold in my hands. <laughs> People will be like, this is so weird what you're doing. It's 
just like a block of something and then you got a big one. So I'm like, it's when you think about it, think about how weird it is that we had this food we have to cook and prepare from it once been something that was walking, living, breathing, and feeling and all of that stuff. This didn't do anything. <laughs> this didn't go through a life of living just to die, being born just to die. This was a plant. <laughs> but I'm not here to preach. People have to come to what they come to sometimes in their own time. Now I'm just going to put some olive oil in a pan, season this up, and um, Put it in the pan and brown it up. And that's what I'm going to do. That's the one with the nice necklaces. <laughs> That's the only person I can remember that I'm thinking of. It's by her necklaces. How she had nice necklaces. I think she even sold jewelry. I think you're remembering that. I think you're talking about Was it slow? I think probably one. Hmm? What is this? What is what? That. I'm vlogging. I'll edit you out. I'll I'm just placing them in the pan so that they um, don't crowd the pan because you don't get a good sear on them when you let them crowd the pan. I'm thinking my daughter might want some, so I'm making the whole block. I guess you saw that. I don't know. Now I'm just kind of wishing that oil all around. I'm going to just go ahead and add a few more pieces. I know some people are anti-oil, but this stuff looks like a sponge, so <laughs> gotta do a little bit more than a little bit. I use this. There's a list on the internet of real olive oils, because um, not all of them are. Some of them are have food coloring in them, and some of them have um, artificial flavoring and try to pass off as olive oil. And then you spend them all for oil. But it's not even what you think you're spending the money on. And it's a lot of the companies you'd be surprised about. Some linguine with uh, um, spinach and sun dried tomatoes. Yes, I'm making enough for both of us. And 
that they had. She was on one side. Kind of looks like chicken breast now. And got some green onions and garlic in the pan. And my pasta sauce, my pasta is cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and chop up some sun-dried tomatoes that I have here. And uh, put my spinach in there and saute that these two together. I also drained and rinsed some cannelli beans, white cannelli beans, because that would be a nice little, another meaty protein touch. Plus, it's cannelli beans are kind of usually in a lot of somewhat Italian or Mediterranean dishes. So, yum yum. All right, so we got the beans in here. We got the sun-dried tomatoes, the garlic, garlic powder. I'm gonna add also, oh, actually I added red pepper flakes to the pasta. This is what the pasta is looking like. Looks good. It's got a little bit of the pasta sauce, a little bit of the Sicilian so seasoning. I got the, I get these seasonings, I find them at um, TJ Maxx and Home Goods and Marshalls. Little focus. delicious and they have uh, lots of different ones so now that this is pretty much done I'm just add the pasta to this dish then add the tofu so the, at the end that way it stays crispy and we are done my food was really good but I forgot to take a picture so just imagine what you saw, the colorful dish with the greens, the tomatoes, the white beans, and the pasta assembled with some of the uh, crusted, herb-crusted tofu sprinkled about on top. Imagine that. I was trying to look for a picture of some, a dish maybe similar, but I couldn't find one. And so, yeah. I suck. I suck at vlogging, <laughs> but I want to get better because I like doing it. <laughs> anyway, guys, see you tomorrow. <laughs>